Well, hell's bells, that ain't good. Yeah, so uh, current situation that I got, come back to the boat ramp, one of my trailer tires are flat, like flat, flat. I don't have a pump, I don't have nothing. I got a jack and a tire wrench. So I called my buddy Jamie, which he lives like right down the road from the ramp. He brought me a bicycle pump because he, these little trailer tires, you don't need no big air compressor. You can just pump them up, bicycle pump. And then this nice fella behind me here let me borrow a block of wood because my jack wouldn't reach the uh, deal. So it's like a community effort. That's the good thing about being a sportsman, outdoorsman. And he said something really good. He said, why are we even down here if we're not going to help anybody? And that's, that's the truth. That's the truth. I'm getting all sentimental here, but that's God's honest truth. Guy 79 years old, still fishing. I hope I live to be 79. There still is some good in this world. That's why I don't watch the news anymore. We're getting this fixed. My wife's got to fix her coffee, and she's bringing me my spare, which I took out when we went kayaking the other weekend. So have a jack, have a tire wrench, have a block of wood, and have a pump, a bicycle pump. Throw it right in the back of your truck. All right? a question that won't hurt your feelings. Do you want to see what the top speed on this 2020 Mercury 9.9 .9 is? On my John boat? Didn't think so. Let's do this. We're at the lake, just dumped the boat in. Today, we're doing the top speed of a 2020 Mercury 9.9. .9. Now, I've got this motor on a 1648 John boat, a Lumacraft. It's got decking on it, it's got flooring, back decking, it's got a right good amount of tackle in here, probably 100 pounds of soft plastics. All my rods, not all my rods. I've got some rods on here, pretty loaded. We're gonna see what the top speed is on this 9.9. .9. If this boat was totally gutted with nothing on it, you could probably get five to seven miles per hour, I'm thinking, more speed, I, I would think, because I'm not sure about the weight of this boat, but I know it's not light, just because everything I've done to it, it's a fully rigged bass boat. That's what I got it for is bass fishing. I didn't get it for speed, which I love to go fast. And don't get me wrong, that Mercury 9.9, .9, it'll get on down the pike if I need it to, but it's not a 250 or 150 or a 50 or 20 it's a 9.9 .9. let's run it the water little chop not much just a little breeze across the top which shouldn't affect it that bad now i have got it up to 16 mile per hour and i will say that i'm gonna run it right now on setting one second so if you can see right there i have it on the number two slot that's what i've been running Let's run it on that and then we'll jack it down to the number one slot just to see if the if there's any difference in the speed whatsoever. Number two slot, I'm gonna run it wide open. We'll see what our top speed is and then I'll redo it, crank it down to number one and we'll run it again. See if that affects it. I know three is gonna be a little too high. So we'll just, we'll stick with one and two. Okay, now we just ran it at the number two slot, and I think from what I seen on the camera up front, it got up to like 15.7, 15.8 was the highest it got. Let's bring it down to the number one slot. We'll run it wide open, same route, and we'll see what the top speed is. And if you don't know how to adjust your trim, whatever, I'll show you. If you're looking on the right side of the motor, sitting in the boat, You've got this tilt lock, then you've got the unlock. You want to make sure that this is unlocked. And all you do is pull it up, that's locked, pull it up, slide it down, that's unlocked. Now on the other side, 
This is where you select your trim height. You got one, two, and three. One being the lowest, two being middle, three being the highest. I'm not gonna mess with three because three's too high. We just ran it on two. Now I'm gonna trim it down to one. And then if you don't know how to lift your motor up, there's this little thing back here. Let's see if I can reach around. Right there. You pick that up, you or you lift this up, and then you with one you lift this up with one hand, and then you pull your motor up with the other hand that little lever that I showed you up and then grab the back of the motor and it has to come all the way up to unlock let go of the um, let go of the lever back here and then just let it all the way back down and now we're sitting at one Okay, so that run was on trim one. Okay, it was on the first setting of the uh, trim tab back there. It went slower. I think I seen like 14.4 maybe. It went slower, let's put it that way. I, I, I've never ran it on three. So, I mean, what, do you wanna run it on three? Okay, let's, let's try three. Hell with it. Setting two. We had 15.7, I think is what I seen. I might be wrong, you'll see it. Setting one, trim one, we had 14.4, I think is what I seen. Like I said, we'll see it in the video when I put it together. Hell with it, let's try trim three, trim tab three, let's do it, let's do it. I'm, I'm crazy, let's get crazy. All right, let's see, I'm gonna put my switch up to three. Then lift my little lever here. You gotta bring it all the way up. Bring it all the way down. And that's at three. Check this out. It's off the transom right much. So let's check it. Let's do this. That is the 2020 Mercury 9.9 .9 top speed on my John boat, okay? It's not gonna be the same on anybody else's John boat. So if it's, I don't know if that's fast or slow, I don't know what the top speed on one is supposed to be, but on mine, like I said, I've got a full deck, totally rigged out. It's pretty heavy for a John boat. I will say this Mercury pushes it pretty good. And I think on the number three trim tab, I got up to like 15.8. I have got it up to 16 before, but that was down towards the dam. I don't know if the elevation makes a difference. I know it does in drag racing and stuff, but 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Ask me any questions you want to in the comments down below. Give it a good old elbow smash on that like button. And if you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it if you're new, okay? I'm gonna be try I'll be uploading once a week. Once I hit a thousand, I might go to Deuce. Mm -hmm. Twice a week, it's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs>